teach you how to archive a team in Microsoft Teams. So all your teams are active and any of your members or students can open them and edit them even if they're from last year. And you wouldn't want to do that if you're not supervising and monitoring your team. So you want to do this every school year, archive your old teams. So go ahead and open Teams, click on Teams on the left hand side and click on the cog wheel or the settings wheel in the top right and click on Manage Teams. Here you'll have a list of all of your teams. Find the one you'd like to archive, click the three dots, and click on Archive Team. You'll see it will say, this will freeze all team activity, but you'll still be able to add or remove members and update roles. And you could always go in and restore them, I'll show you that in a minute. You'll also probably want to check this box, make, make the SharePoint site read only for team members. You might not use SharePoint, but by default, every team has a SharePoint site. So you don't want your students to go in there and be able to edit anything. So I'd check that box and then click on archive. And if you have any other teams from last year, you'll want to go in and you'll want to archive those as well. Archive team. Uncheck the box and click archive. This just freezes your team in, in time, but keeps all the data. So I just press this little button here you'll see I have 115 active teams and two archive teams at any moment you can restore them if you'd like to or you can just go in and go in and open them and you'll see that there's all of the information that was here um, but I cannot start a new conversation or post any messages it won't let me see I can't it was archived, I can't post any more messages. So this will allow you and your students to reference your old teams and all the content, but not edit them. And that is how you archive a Microsoft Teams.